Hi, I'm making a video today for my cousin Dallin, who is celebrating his birthday today. And for his birthday, he wants to learn how to blow a bubble with bubble gum. So I'm just going to give a little bit of instruction here for you, Dallin. Now what you want to do is make sure that you're starting out with a good quality bubble gum. Uh, most adults tend to prefer sort of a typical chewing gum because it, it's smaller and can be better hidden during, say, a professional conversation. Uh, but kids are encouraged to chew bubble gum because of the sort of smacking, popping nature of it. What we're going to be using today for our tutorial is this uh, very traditional American double bubble bubble gum. You can also go with hubba bubble, bubble yum, um, even just a, a gumball will work. So the first thing you want to do is soften up your gum. So this part just involves chewing the gum. And in the case of double bubble in particular, this is known as the exciting period because this is when the gum has some flavor. It usually only lasts about a minute or so, so don't feel the need to rush through this portion because the gum will lose its flavor very quickly. So just chew up your gum and enjoy that sugary feeling on your teeth. Now, you can hear kind of the smacking that I'm doing. This is good practice for being a kid. So you're going to want to make sure you've got this down before you try any more advanced techniques such as blowing bubbles. But once you feel ready, you kind of got the smacking down, and your gum's nice and soft, and if it doesn't taste so sweet anymore, you're ready to move on to bubbles. The way I learned how to do it is take your gum. Once you've got it nice and soft, and press it flat. And we're going to put this over our lips and blow a bubble. So we want to kind of make it into an oval shape, something that will cover our mouth. This is some good practice that could be done, uh, say, in the privacy of your own home, probably, before you get to where you're blowing bubbles uh, just from the the regular way of just doing it inside your mouth. Once you've got it nice and flat, I'm going to press this over my lips and then attempt to blow a bubble. I've actually used two pieces here to get it a little bigger. Uh, your mouth is a little smaller than mine, so you might be able to get away with just one piece. And that way you're not wasting extra gum because you're going to need all of this gum for practicing. All right, now, oh, you can see I've, I've pressed a little, I've got a little hole. That's going to be no good. It's just like blowing up a balloon. Any little hole is going to ruin the whole inflation process. So you've got to kind of re-smash it together. Um, feel free to use extra gum from the edges to sort of patch up any holes. And once you've got that down, press it over your lips and then see what you can get in terms of blowing a bubble this way. Okay, as you can see, it wasn't too successful in terms of blowing a large bubble, but you could see that as I was exhaling, it was blowing the gum out, and uh, and that's essentially what you're going to be doing on the inside of your mouth. So what you want to do is, when you're ready to do this in public, instead of using your fingers to smash it flat, you will uh, sort of move the gum around using your tongue and your teeth, pressing it flat, so that you've got this flat panel to work with. Once you've got that in your mouth, what I like to do is stick out my tongue to get the tip of the gum coming out of my mouth, then blow, making sure that the rest of it is coated on the inside of my lips or inside the teeth for a nice good bubble. So for now, I'm pressing the gum against the roof of my mouth to make it flat. So as you can see, I just stuck the tip of my tongue out just barely to get it started, then blow. Let's try that again and see if we can't get a bigger bubble. Pressing it flat. Now, if you work quickly, you can likely 
achieve most of this excess bubble gum that's stuck to your face just by simply pulling it back into your mouth. But if that doesn't work, feel free to just grab your gum and use it as sort of a press to pick this up. Any extra bits that you've got stuck on there uh, are not going to be quite as comfortable. So you're going to want to make sure you just get them all picked up. Oh yeah, a little bit more. And voila, all clean. Now, maybe for your next birthday, we'll work on some more advanced techniques such as blowing a bubble within a bubble and, uh, and so on. Happy birthday!